Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope this thumbnail video <laughs> finds you well. Um, my name is Muffet and I am here to share with you my love for fragrances and also um, specifically I would like to talk to you about uh, floral fragrances that I think would be really really good for spring and for summer. All these project um, very strongly. All these last a long time. So yeah, that's no question with any of these fragrances that I'm about to share with you. So if you're interested uh, to hear what I have to say, please stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like and comment and also to subscribe to my little baby channel. <laughs> All right, you guys. First, I would like to discuss with you this beautiful peach and lychee floral fragrance. This is Carvin's Dan's Dance Mabule. So I first smelled this in a perfume store um, overseas sometime last year and I was like, mm, I'll get it later. It's beautiful, but it can wait. So I finally got it this year and <laughs> this, okay, this is a sitter because the first time I smelled it when I opened the box, I was like, wait a minute. This is not what I remember this fragrance smelling like. I remember a beautiful peach um, feminine floral fragrance. This had to sit. I would pass by uh, this perfume in my collection. I would just look at it like mm, sideways, like, do I have to sell you, you know? But this, this came, this, this came through, this came through. Um, and after about a few weeks, I smell the peach, the lychee, the beautiful fruity floral mixture that I remember smelling originally. This is a beautiful, what I would consider to be a peach fragrance. There is lychee in there, but the primary note for me is peach. And also the floral note in here is heliotrope. It's heliotrope and peony. There's also jasmine, but I can't smell much of the jasmine in here or the patchouli. Yeah, if you want something that's not too, too fruity, but yet you will still smell the peach and um, some of the lychee that's in there, definitely check this out. And this is not um, this is not gonna break the bank either. Uh, there's another version, there's a De Fleur one, uh, a more floral one. T t I mean, to me, I actually like that one better. However, it's hard to find here in the US. Like I can't find it anywhere. And the, the company itself, Carbon, will not ship to the US. So yeah, there's that. If you guys have any tips, please let me know on how to get that one, but yeah. Check out Dams Mabuli, y'all. This is a beautiful peach floral fragrance. Up next, guys, is a jasmine tea fragrance that I have, and this is very unique. I don't really have much tea fragrances, but this is Algebra's Never Winged Lions. You guys, hmm. upon opening, you smell the jasmine tea, but it's not, it's not a herbal, um, it's not an herbal fragrance. There's bergamot, there's peony in the middle, there's also um, cotton. Now the cotton flower or the cotton leaf note that's in here is very smooth and it helps the fragrance transition into the base. The base is freesia, Turkish rose, and violet. I smell the freesia, the Turkish rose, and the, and the violet in here. Overall, guys, it is sweet. Oh, but it's it's just so good. It's almost like you have a bouquet of of flowers in front of you, but they don't smell they don't smell potent. They have a sweetness to it. And I hope this makes sense. So just imagine the jasmine tea, it's been boiled, but it's cooled down and it's been sweetened, and then right next to that tea, you have fresh sweet flowers in front of you. That's what this fragrance smells like. It is so beautiful. Please get your nose on this, guys. I won't steer you wrong, okay? <laughs> Up next is Kaisa by Mind Games. I get so many compliments on this, it's crazy. This projects, <laughs> this if not is the strongest uh, perfume that I'm gonna tell you of today. So <laughs> this is a beautiful fruity floral fragrance, you guys. Everyone's always asking me, what am I wearing? And I tell them, they're like, oh, I gotta look for it. Now, when I was sniffing this out, um, I was thinking of getting, I think the other one is Checkmate, but I, I preferred this one over that one. That one is good too, but I preferred this one first. I'll go back and get others later. So um, the notes to me, when I looked them up, I was just like, if I would have tried to get samples based on what the notes look like, I wouldn't have gotten this fragrance. I had to have been in the store to smell this in order to know how beautiful it was. So the top notes are Fugaset, Black Licorice, Cardamom. I can smell the Cardamom in the opening. I can smell, and I'm, I'm noticing that I'm really starting to like fragrances with Cardamom in it. It's, it, 
it's not herbal it's not uh nutty or 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 any of that it's it's just there's something about it that i can't really describe that is really really beautiful as a perfume note in fragrances it's it's aromatic um we have pink pepper and also in the middle notes we have uh egyptian jasmine gardenia and ylang ylang then we have a brosinide uh, musk and cacao in the base now i don't smell any cacao in the base i smell that a brosinide i smell the musk Mmm, I smell the Ylang Ylang and the cardamom. This is so beautiful. I would have never thought that I would like a fragrance like this, but yeah, it definitely doesn't smell like what the notes look like, if that makes sense. So guys, check this out if you're looking for a beautiful, fruity floral fragrance. This is bomb and you will get plenty of compliments, plenty of questions, and this will last you forever. I've worn this a lot and it's still only up to here. You know, it doesn't take much, you know? Yeah, so check out Kaisa. Up next is what I believe to be the best nest fragrance that there is. And this is Wild Poppy, y'all. Y'all see my dent? Booyah! <laughs> so, so the notes in here are kind of funny because it's telling me that there's rose, there's pear, there's raspberry, and there's apricot in here. I don't smell any rose. This perfume says Wild Poppy. So whatever Wild Poppy is, See, it even shows you what the wild poppy looks like. That's what I'm smelling in here. I'm smelling, a, I'm smelling a sweet floral, definitely not a rose. But you guys, this is beautiful. And uh, comment down below if you share this opinion with me, but I'm not a fan of any of the nest oils. I don't know if I just spoke blasphemy, but um... I'm just not, but I do believe that this is the best um, uh, nest fragrance that they have. It's so beautiful. It Again, it's so feminine and it's not too fruity. You will get that floral. This is not a youthful or old fragrance. It's a grown woman fragrance. She's going on vacation. She's going to run errands and she just smells fresh and delicious. That's what this smells like. Yep. So if you're interested, check it out. Up next, you guys, is a no stranger to you, y'all. You all. This is Giorgio Armani's My Way. This is actually my fragrance for the day. And I'm wearing this with a pineapple body butter. I smell like joy. <laughs> I smell like joy. So you can see my dent right here. Check it out. Check it out. Okay. And so there's bergamot orange blossom in the opening. Middle notes are tuberose and Indian jasmine. Base notes are vanilla and musk and cedar. I don't smell cedar in this at all. Gosh, but that tuberose in here is gorgeous. Oh man. And I know a lot of people say that this is a bubble gummy um, tuberose and it is, but it's a bubble gummy, not in a candy-like way, if that makes sense. You know that, um, I would say when you get your bubble yum uh, bubble gum, when you first start to chew it, that sweetness right there, right there, that's what that is. Not the lingering or you've been chewing it for a while. No, this is like uh, chewing upon first putting it in your mouth, if that makes sense. This is so beautiful. And again, I've written this down for people. Um, I've gotten plenty of comments on this one and this will always be in my collection. I've smelled different... Um, flankers of this and to me i still feel like the original is still better okay nothing nothing beats the original so my way by Giorgio Armani. next we have pure poison by dior i should have got a bigger bottle but y'all hmm, this is a beautiful beautiful musky floral fragrance we have jasmine we have orange we have bergamot in the beginning mandarin Mostly what I'm getting from this is the jasmine and the orange. Gardenia is in the middle, so is orange blossom. Sandalwood, amber, and cedar are, are and musk are in the base. I smell the musk, but I would say this is a jasmine orange floral fragrance. Yeah, jasmine orange floral fragrance. You can wear a um orange body butter with this or or even a mango body butter with this. This is gonna be beautiful for spring and summer, y'all. Check this out. Up next is Jimmy Choo, I Want You. <laughs> I got this not too long ago. So the dent is, is a denting a little bit, um, but I think I've been doing pretty good considering I just got it. So um, yeah, this to me is a peach, there's a, a peach jasmine fragrance. 
And to me, the combination of that, it, it smells like grapes. So the top notes are peach and orange, and the middle notes are jasmine and red lily, and the base is vanilla. I smell vanilla in the base, I do, but it's not strong at all. Mainly, this is peach and jasmine to me. And that combination to me smells like grapes. <laughs> so um, I'm also interested in the other flanker they have in the dark, the dark bottle. I'll, I'll put a picture of that, but I'm also interested in that. So yeah, this projects, this projects um, pretty decently. And um, it lasts, I would say about maybe six or seven hours. So yeah, check out Jimmy Choo, I Want You. Up next is uh, the right La Nuit for me. This is La Nuit Eau de Parfum. And this is the rose and vanilla fragrance that I was initially trying to get, but I purchased the other one by mistake. So yeah, this is, now there are a lot of notes <laughs> that uh, come up when I pulled up, pull them up for this. However, I mainly get just strictly rose and vanilla. This is a perfect date night fragrance for the spring and summer. Um, it's not overpowering. The projection is very moderate. However, the longevity depends on, I think, um, your body care with this one. Um, yeah, I think if you just spray it on your clothes, it might not last as long, but if you spray it on uh, moisturized skin, you'll definitely get the longevity, but the vanilla in this is so sweet. The rose is not potent. It's just a sexy fragrance all uh, all around. So yeah, check out La Nuit Eau de Parfum by Chesor. It's a beautiful bottle too. Last but not least is Armas Club de Nuit Woman. This to me is a peach and orange fragrance, you guys. This is perfect for all year round, but specifically for spring and for summer. This is an ultimate classic feminine fragrance. And I really feel like everybody should have this in their collection. I really do. It doesn't break the bank. I think it's like no more than 30 something dollars. You see my dent on this right here? You know, and this was a blind buy. And I, I looked at the notes and I was just like, okay. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It was from Joma Shop. It doesn't hurt. If I don't like it, I can always return it. But yeah, this is so beautiful. So there's rose in here. There's also lychee, jasmine, and geranium in here. There's patchouli and vetiver and musk and vanilla in the in the in the base, but I don't smell any of that. You guys, I smell that peach and that orange. And that gardenia. Have mercy. I don't smell any lychee. But yeah. This is a beautiful fruity floral um, for spring and for summer. So yeah, check this out. And the longevity on this is ridiculous. Projection is ridiculous. So it's definitely worth your coin. Okay, check it out. Okay, thank you so much guys for tuning in and hearing what my takes on the best florals um, for for summer and for spring. So if you have any suggestions um, that you'd like to, to tell me, please put them in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my baby channel. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Until the next video, enjoy life and take care of yourself, okay? All right, bye-bye.